everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I am returning to my beautiful box of 24 micas from the Alexis Company. These are the folks that a while back sent me 16 chameleon mica powder collection, which I love. This is the second video I'm making with this collection. I used these four in a recent comb over video link below. I initially pulled seven or eight micas to use on a tumbler in what was going to be the original or the very first video I did with these, but it went sideways very quickly because I ran out of one of the components, not the mica, obviously. There's lots of that. These are 10 gram jars, but I was making mica glues and I ran out of the glue. I prefer the glitter glue from Artistry Epoxy. This is the Colorflex brand. You can also get their glitter glue mixed in with actual colors if you want to put this directly on your tumbler and then glitter over that. That works great or you can use it just as a paint. But I like their glitter glue and I like mixing micas into it and then spreading them on tumblers. What happened was I ran out of the stuff I like and I used a different kind which is fine for glitter but it does not work well with the micas because it ends up looking like this. So yuck. And I really didn't like how that looked. So what I ended up doing, because I didn't want to waste the mica glue I had already mixed up with these two colors and what I had left of this glitter glue in another bottle. So I scraped all of that out of the, the cups I'd mixed it into and I managed to get it all over the tumbler I was going to use for all seven colors. So this is sort of my base now. I thought about just going with this because I could turn this into a, say, Ukrainian support tumbler, which did occur to me. I have a beautiful graphic I could use. But at the same time, I really wanted to show off more of these micas. So now that I have more of the glitter glue I like, we are going to take the remaining micas that I didn't get to use last time and mix these in with the glitter glue, each in its own little cup, and paint these on here as well. The ones I used already are Arctic Ice, and the yellow is Dandelion. And what I'm going to add to that is apricot, brilliant green, royal purple, berry ice cream, and bronze. So I'm going to put glitter glue in these five tumblers, mix in these micas, these five micas we haven't used yet. Take some fluffy brushes and paint them on the tumbler. I do this method, but that doesn't mean I'm an expert at it. I, I learn new things about it every time I try it. It's just the way, I, the way it works with experiments. It's a patchwork. That's sort of what I was going for. I am going to leave this to dry. I have some leftover mica glue, so what I'm going to probably do, I should paint this on something so it doesn't go to waste. It's something. We'll figure out something to do with it. And we're back. Okay, so we have a nice, smooth, resined tumbler here with some sparkle to it over our gorgeous micas. And now I am going to wrap this in vinyl. And here's the vinyl I am going to use. This is another Mr. Nola's Glitters sticky sheet. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a special material sticky sheet where they do not only a design printed on the vinyl, but they also have a, a special background to it. In this case, it's obviously holographic sparkles, and it is also a peekaboo, so you can see through it, which means we will not be covering up our gorgeous micas that we just put on this tumbler, but we will be adding to them and still letting them shine. So I want this to be up like that. This is not intended to be a seamless design. I mean, it is if I had something that would, would use the entire 12 inches, but this cup doesn't do that, so. Oh, 
all right. my cup edger this is currently on one washer i want to lift it up a little all right i have three washers in here so i'm going to start by trimming the overhang off same down here all right now fresh blade three washers up off the table and i'm going to start at the seam so that it's really easy to tell when I'm all the way around. Push against the blade and either pull the cup towards you as you turn it or push it away from you to turn it, whichever feels safer to you. I tend to pull it toward me, but that's just personal preference. You can do it either way. And if you don't think you got it the first time, you can just, you can go around again. Okay, same deal up here. There we go. Now I wanna do pinstripe at the top and the bottom and I wanna put something, a saying right here and we'll see where we are. Okay, so moving on, I have some vinyl. This is from Tech Wrap Craft. This is their glitter brush diagonal candy vinyl. And what I did was I had my Cricut cut out some, some lines basically. I have quarter inch width and I have 0.15 inch width to use as pinstripes. So I think I'm gonna use the big ones, the quarter inch. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is put on a saying and a graphic. I haven't done a saying and a graphic in a while, so I figured it was, it was time. <laughs> the easiest way to make sure I'm in a middle place is to get the seam showing right in the middle of the gap in the back. And now I know that this is absolutely the front. And because this involves kind of an odd placement, I'm doing diagonal text here. I printed out sort of a template just to show myself where things go as I'm trying to get it on the cup. First thing I'm gonna do is get the text on because once the text is on, then I have to slot the printable vinyl in. If I put the printable vinyl down first and then I do this next to it, the transfer tape could conceivably rip the design off the printable vinyl. So if you're gonna do something like this, you wanna do the cut vinyl first. This is my favorite printable vinyl. This is the Nito brand and it looks like it didn't cut very well. The vinyl cut fine. My Cricut may be a little off center. They've made a bunch of upgrades lately and that usually means you should recalibrate. And of course, I'm just now realizing I haven't done that. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna run with it anyway. Okay, so that goes up in there. Try not to rip anything. This will rip if you're too hard on it. Okay, and I have a tiny little one that goes in here. Dragonflies appear when angels are near. I don't usually go with kind of sappy sayings, but I like that. That's not over the top sappy. <laughs> I'm going to do clear epoxy resin. I'm not gonna put anything in it. And yeah, next time you see this, it should be out in the sunshine. Stay tuned. <laughs> 